Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about Marc Jacobs Bang Bang. This came out in 2011 and is classified as a woody aromatic. Top notes are lemon, cardamom, and watercress. Middle notes are sandalwood. And in the base we have musk. And at base notes, four positive, four neutrals. Not many people are talking about this fragrance. Um, a lot of people have talked about the original Bang which, uh, as you may recall, very peppery fragrance, and I believe it was sort of a flop for the house of Marc Jacobs, and it became sort of like this bargain bin fragrance. But they went ahead and decided to make a flanker of it. Maybe that's part of the reason why not many people are talking about it. Anyway, I got this sample from an eBay seller in Berlin, Germany. So samples, professional uh, carded samples like this, very hard to come by uh, for some reason. Not the most well uh marketed and exposed fragrance out there and nobody on youtube at this point that i know of has really talked about this fragrance too much um so i thought you know why not go ahead and try to get the ball rolling on this one um so this one actually not all that similar to the original the original very peppery of course with this one i still do get like a spiciness maybe some pepper it's just cardamom but i do kind of pick up on a pepper smell uh, definitely like a sweet woodiness to it with a muskiness in the base. Um, I think the watercress maybe gives it like this aquatic feel. I get like a juniper berry note in there as well. Uh, I'm not sure if the sweetness is coming from a juniper berry note or possibly just the musk or sandalwood. But uh, very reminiscent of other like juniper berry sandalwood fragrances like Mont Blanc's Individual, Hugo by Hugo Boss. So if you like those kinds of fragrances, if you like Hugo Boss fragrances, I think you would probably really like this one as well. It doesn't really do anything too different. It's just very good at what it does. Just provides a nice signature scent, kind of a um, clean, aquatic kind of a smell with like a spicy, uh, peppery, sandalwood musk. I would recommend checking it out. If you have a large collection, it probably won't, uh, you know, blow you away or anything. But if you're just starting out, just want something you can wear every day, this would be perfect for that, I think. Um, so let me get into some scores here. Uh, the smell, I'll give it 8 out of 10. I think it's a nice smell. Um, probably best for people that are like in their late 20s, early 30s. Maybe a little bit sweet for the older crowd, but not overly sweet. Certainly not as sweet as individual. Uh, projection longevity, give it 2 to 5 hours. Uh, about 6.5 out of 10 there. Um, yeah, so probably... Uh, if you want to smell this all day, you might have to reapply. Versatility, like I said, it's signature scent worthy, 9 out of 10. Price point at Beauty Encounter, 50 ml bottles will be 3419 100 ml bottles, 4329 So about 7 out of 10 there. Pretty fair pricing there for, for this fragrance. Uniqueness, uh, nothing too special. Like I said, kind of has like that basic sweet spicy sandalwood format that you're going to get with a lot of other fragrances hugo boss and things like that uh overall but i will give it seven and a half out of ten a, a nice refreshing fragrance to check out if you like aquatics or just uh woodsiness spiciness stuff like that bang bang i'm mark jacobs check it out thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later